I come from Finland. From Finland comes people who can't spell. From Finland comes Linux, SSH, uh, and ISC. Yeah. And uh, also uh, from Finland comes Rovio and Angry Birds. And I'm here to talk, to talk about Angry Birds and Bitcoins. So I have a warm-up question. Who, who does know why Angry Birds are angry? They are angry because they went to Python Brazil conference, they went to a party and some pastas from Python board were giving them six Kaipirinias for free. And they have a hangover uh, speech. And the second question is that, uh, what do you need to make a success like Rovio, Rovio did? How do you get a lot of, lot of money? It's, it's the question of uh, separating the customer from his money. Separado kaiksa i customer. And that's why we have a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is now major. Even if drug stores die, Bitcoin doesn't die. Bitcoin has an API. You can do payments from your Unix cell. You don't need to do paperwork or any kind of uh, contracts with uh, Bitcoin. You don't have any kind of uh, issues with the bad guys. And uh, it doesn't have uh, transaction fees. Or they are very low. And that's why if you are uh, building your own little service where you want to take payments, Bitcoin is the best way because it scales down. And you, it's very easy to set up. And uh, I have created a tutorial, I go through it now fast. And if, you, if I'm too fast, please write down that address. It will be end of the presentation too. So you can learn it and go there to read it. So first, you need Bitcoin D, which is Unix software. You install it, you install some MCAT, and then you need to understand the Django. And then we go forward again, okay. And then you uh, uh, go to your uh, Django and uh, from the prompt, you can create a wallet. And in the wallet, you can create an address where you can get money. And then you need the money from somewhere, I mean Bitcoins. So you can go to the localbitcoins.com and you buy Bitcoins from me for your testing. And then you uh, use the localbitcoins.com awesome web wallet to send Bitcoins to your address. And then you have a Django task, which is polling your uh, Bitcoin D to uh, see when your Bitcoins are arriving to your address you have in your wallet. And when the Bitcoins arrive, you can check from the Python prompt, okay, I have now Bitcoins there. And when you have Bitcoins, you need to do something with them. So you are going to buy uh, music from them, with them, and it's uh, the most, uh, the biggest gift of Brazil to the world, it's called Mihel Telo. And if you don't know who is the Mihel Telo, I can improvise, it's like, no sa, no sa, I see you, hello. So if you look carefully, there's a price. It's, it's like 5% uh, 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 of Bitcoins, and there's the address where you need to send the money to get this perfect, cute, beautiful song. And we go to the prompt again. As you can see, we are using a decimal a Python class because we can't use floating point because it's losing the, your money. And then we just uh, type in like the address and the amount of money and the description why I'm buying this beautiful song. And that's it. The money goes in, and you can use a website called uh, blockchain.info to check how your transaction is uh, propagating in the Bitcoin network. Now, uh, I'm uh, from uh, localbitcoins.com. Please register to our site. If you want to buy any Bitcoins, I'm here for you. I can access the REIs. And uh, the example is there in the full, uh, full, 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 full descriptions and stuff and source code and stuff like that. So. Uh, it has been a blessing to be in Brazil, and I will come to here again to learn your, uh, listen to your beautiful music. Thank you.